about spiritual growth how can we grow spiritually what things can we do to get more intentional about our walk to allow ourselves to grow spiritually i just wanted to put forward today because this is my word for the year i want to grow spiritually last year was laying the foundation and this year is building upon it i want to go beyond and as far as i can go to grow my spiritual walk with Christ Jesus because it's so worth it and it's so beneficial in our lives to know him. Amen. So I'm going to give a few kind of pointers on where you could start. So of course we have to first of all make the decision okay that this is what you want to do you've decided kind of thing. Now I've got this book in front of me it's called The Finishing School and it's by Valerie Warner. I'll leave the details below and my pinky promise beautiful ladies we are reading this book together now the first thing i really think is important and i spoke about prayer on my last video of the year when i was praying for all you guys and i was basically saying that our prayer is so powerful and we really need to become intentional about praying more because it's just a direct connection with christ and we just like become vulnerable before him and just express ourselves and let him know how much we love him and it gives us so much strength even jesus had to go away to pray i think sometimes we underestimate the power of prayer we get allow ourselves to get distracted by the things of this world and this book um, the lady that wrote it, she did a survey on Instagram to see what kind of things people said about getting distracted. And some of them were, they felt it was easy to, to choose Netflix over prayer time, embarrassed not to have the right words, felt that they had messed up so much that their prayers didn't deserve to be heard, felt like it was just a checklist or talking to the air, getting distracted mid-prayer or didn't have the desire for it. So sometimes we can feel like we can feel discouraged. The enemy always loves to do that to us. Sometimes we don't want to hear ourselves speak our weaknesses, but we cannot be ashamed before God. He's our father and he loves us so much and he knows everything about us. He knows us more than we know ourselves. So your prayer lives need to increase. You need to set aside time and just pray. It doesn't have to be perfect, but God knows your heart. And as long as you're doing it consistently and you're being intentional about it, you will grow in that area. So I just want to encourage you. So I'll just read, I'm reading from page 12. Prayers of adoration simply mean praising God for who he is, not what he has given. I can't think of a better way to begin a prayer than acknowledging why God is so worthy of being glorified in this manner. If there were no reason to praise him, we could end this whole prayer thing here, but y'all, he is so worthy. This prepares our hearts so beautifully and puts us in a place of realizing the power he has in three parts. Studying the Bible goes hand in hand with this because as we read, we learn all about his character, commit to learning the character of God through his word. And if you are unsure of where to start, I love how Psalm 145 describes his nature. Worship songs are also a great example of prayer and adoration. So feel free to belt it out to open a prayer. And I think that's beautiful. And I like to start my prayers with worship music because it just lifts me up. I could have had a long day and it just unwinds and untangles me. It reminds me of his glory and his majesty and how perfect he is. So definitely improve on your prayer life and try to be as intentional as you can about setting aside time to pray because it's so, so important. The enemy is always attacking us and we need that encouragement. The second thing I would say, and something I've definitely been passionate about for the last year and I continue to grow in this area, is fellowship, spending time around other believers to get some encouragement. Now, I want to encourage you with this scripture, Acts 2, 42. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship and to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Every day they continued to meet in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favour of all people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. So fellowship is really, really important because we all go through similar things over and over again. And we just need to pull together and give each other the opportunity to open up to each other. Now, I've spoken a lot about Pinky Promise. It's a women's fellowship. I'll leave the details below. 
why not join? You've got nothing to lose. Um, we are in an environment where we're supporting each other and we're growing together. And we do things like accountability partners, prayer partners. Um, you know, you pray together on the phone. Even with my church, as you guys know, I go to Hillsong and they are very big on coming together as a community and building a community so that people don't feel isolated. Because in London, some people feel so isolated, but you wouldn't know it, would you? So these are the two things that I want to share with you today. I hope that they blessed you and I hope that you reflect on it. So I think throughout the year, I'm going to be reflecting on different ways that we can grow spiritually. And you can leave some um, interesting ideas below on how we can allow ourselves to grow spiritually. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a blessed Sunday. I'm wearing the top and it says Jesus is coming back and I got it from Narrow and Bold, who is Ayana. She does No Ring No Sheets on YouTube. So check it out and support the movement because, you know, Christianity is can be uncomfortable. But wearing this top is like people, got, people might feel a bit uncomfortable and might feel a bit like, OK, like, why is she wearing that top? Maybe, maybe he is coming back. Well, he is coming back. But you know what I mean, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I love you. God bless. Bye. Here's to growing spiritually. Amen. Guys, so Heather Lindsay is coming to London in May and I bought an extra ticket and I'm inviting you guys. So one person will win and it's basically a conference. She's going to be preaching and her husband will preach. It's on a Friday and Saturday evening. I'll leave the details below. So to enter, I will leave all the details of how to enter the giveaway below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.